Hey guys, this is Andre, Horizon City News. And I am sitting at one of my favorite benches here next to the uh, water treatment facility that is near the Horizon High School. And um, I'm making this video, hopefully it's a quick one. I'm making it regarding uh, the issue that I'm having right now with the El Paso County, Texas Sheriff's Office regarding my recent open records request about the uh, man named Rene Solis, who was arrested for invasive visual recording, uh, I guess at some point during this year, between January 1st, 2023, and, and uh, August 15th, or you know, mid-August, 2023. Somewhere in there, he got arrested at the uh, Goodwill Thrift Store down in Socorro, Texas for invasive visual recording, which is um, like, you know, like a peeping Tom type of criminal charge. Um, from what I read when I glossed over the news report, there was two adults involved as victims and one minor. I don't know if that was a little boy or a little girl, a teenage boy, a teenage girl, but they said it was a minor. Um, so I made an open record request about that crime that arrest and like I said the El Paso County Texas Sheriff's Office and this isn't the first time they've done this automatically uh, denied me access to all information about that case including just basic information which I know I'm entitled to um, I didn't know the, the statute and the case law right off the top of my head but as you can see um, well, now, I'm not going to take the time to edit it in this video, but as you see on the title of this video, uh, when you clicked on it, I put it in the title of the video. And if you go to the description box below for this video, I'll put some links um, <clears throat> for the particular court case that I'm talking about, <clears throat> which is Texas state law. Now, it's been Texas state law since 1976. Um, that court case, I believe it's called... Um, yeah, Houston Chronicle newspaper or Houston Chronicle publishing, one of those two. But it's Houston Chronicle versus the city of Houston. So it was a newspaper back in the 70s that had a court case against the city of Houston regarding the release of certain basic information from the law enforcement community about, you know, arrests and crimes. Now, this type of issue is what I'm dealing with when I'm trying to get records from the El Paso County, Texas Sheriff's Office and from the uh, other agencies such as the Socorro, Texas Police Department. Because I haven't forgotten about that issue where Chief Burton and his people, they went into a house with a armored vehicle and uh, you know SWAT type team, a tactical team, which they claimed was for quote unquote community caretaking and um, they also wrote a letter to the attorney general saying that they're still investigating and that everything should be denied to me. I can't get any records, um, which is complete hypocrisy from the video that Chief Burton and the city made because Chief Burton is right there on video saying this is not a criminal investigation. This is not having anything to do with investigating a crime. This is for community caretaking. He said those exact words right out of his mouth. But then if you actually look at the paperwork that they filed, the first thing that they go to is they say, oh, this is a criminal investigation. So you're denied all access to all records. So <clears throat> which is it? Is it a criminal investigation or not? Because the paperwork that's filed um, is saying that that's what you believe. But then on video, Chief Burden is saying something else to the public. So that's a whole other can of worms we'll get into later. Anyway, the... Um, El Paso County, Texas Sheriff's Office, uh, you know, they, they keep on doing this routinely where they say, oh, well, we don't know what's releasable or not. Now we have to go ahead and file an opinion or, or request an opinion from the attorney general, which basically what it amounts to is a deliberate stall tactic because they know it's going to take weeks and months to get a response from the attorney general. So they say, oh, well, we don't know anything. So we're just gonna have to wait. We're gonna have to, and 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 that's that's malicious because there already is established case law about what's releasable or not. 
now that I've found the case, now that I have some documents, now I'm going to be able to uh, bring that to the El Paso County Attorney's Office and try to uh, shake things up and, and um, you know, get the County Attorney's Office to hold Mr. Navarez accountable. Hopefully, you know, maybe they won't do anything because they're totally corrupt. I don't know. But I'm going to give him my best uh, effort because Mr. Navarez is supposed to be held to a higher standard as a lawyer, along with Carlos Madrid, who's also the lawyer there at the uh, El Paso County Texas Sheriff's Office. Um, I, I, I don't know if Carlos Madrid is in charge. I think he might be. And then Mr. Navarro is like below him. I'll have to double check. But uh, those are the two lawyers I know of that have always been dealing with me over the years as I've gotten open records from the Sheriff's Office. And um, yeah, I mean, this has got to stop. They can't keep on uh, playing dumb and then you know, deliberately asking for attorney general opinions just to slow me down and delay the process when certain basic information about any arrest or crime should be released to me promptly. This is all established case law. So I'm not letting this go. I'm going to be contacting the uh, county attorney's office and um, trying to see what type of procedures they have for filing complaints against attorneys that work at the county attorney's office because I feel like that's what's necessary here because um, you know I have I'm dealing with a lawyer like Mr. Navarez who it just it, it seems like he's deliberately abusing the system and and him and, and the other lawyers and all the people that work in the records department at the sheriff's office are deliberately using stall tactics to keep me from certain records I'm entitled to. And this just can't go on. I mean, this is, they're supposed to be professionals. They're supposed to be a law enforcement organization. Well, they're violating the law. And of course, that's what my channel's all about. And uh, it actually doesn't surprise me because there's so many bad people in the sheriff's office that lie in reports all the time. And I mean, it's just like, it's infested. It's like a, a culture of impunity. And, you know, a lot of these people, that's all they've ever known as cops is that they get, as cops and lawyers in this judicial system is that they get away with stuff all the time. It's always been like that. And now for the first time in the 20 teens and the 2020s, um, they're being challenged by people with, uh, you know, YouTube channels like me. And they're having, uh, you know, they're having to deal with scrutiny and transparency that they've never seen before. And they don't know how to deal with it. But they better get used to it because this is the new world that we live in. Anyway, the video just passed eight minutes. Um, like I said, I wanted to keep it kind of short and uh, just up, up to update you guys on what's going on with uh, my research about this issue with the um, El Paso County Texas Sheriff's Office and the, the uh, open records request that I did for Rene Solis, who was, like I said, he was... Uh, arrested for a peeping Tom type of crime, which officially is called uh, invasive visual recording. And he was arrested in Socorro, Texas at the Goodwill thrift store. And all I'm trying to do is just get some basic information about his uh, recent arrest. And like I said, the El Paso County Texas Sheriff's Office is doing everything in their power to stall me uh, and slow walk the process for whatever reason. And uh, it, it's not legal. And this this is not the first time this happened, and, and I'm, I'm trying to stop it from happening in the future. All right, guys. Well, I'll be in touch. Um, it's a pretty nice day. Um, hopefully, you guys have the time to get outside at some point today, especially later in the day once the sun is setting. It's really nice. Um, that's, that's one thing that's been helping me with my uh, stress and anxiety and mental health is getting outside. Um, anyway... If anybody wants to reach out to me about any issue, all my contact information is down in the uh, description box below. And, um, yeah, I'll be making more videos. I know that mine are kind of random. They could be one topic, and then all of a sudden, boom, there's we're talking about something that has nothing to do with the other thing, but that's just how my channel works. So, anyway, thanks for uh, watching Horizon City News. I'll be in touch. Everybody have a, everybody have a great day. And, um, yeah. I'm going to try to get the sheriff's office uh, 
to uh, treat me with, you know, the proper procedures in the future. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching the Rising City News.